my channel. Uh, this is the Freaky Flash, and today we're going to be doing Guild Invasion. Uh, today's boss is called Doc Doctor Crankcase. Uh, Doc Doctor Crankcase. Um, this is a pretty. It's, 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 it's not really that difficult of a of a boss, but it is a little bit tricky, especially since um, he's a tech. It's a tech element, and so um, our favorite fire and uh, magic Skylanders are weak against him. So, in my case, uh, I I have a lot of fire units. Uh, my in-game name is Pyromancer, so obviously I do a lot of fire units, and those are basically like the kind of things I like to, to push forward. So, we're just gonna go through the the battle. And then in between, I'll just be throwing in some tips, and uh, we'll just you know try and see what we, what we get. Um, I'm aiming for thirty thousand points, uh, but you know we'll just see what happens. Because like I said, uh, I normally do a lot of fire teams. Um, so right now I'm going to be using um, some Skylanders that I don't use all the time, and some that I'm just only starting to build now. Just try this out. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by picking out my team here. Um, let's see, I'm just gonna take Guild Thunder. I'm gonna take an Element Neutral Chain Reaction. And I'm gonna go for a uh, Stealth Elf. And then uh, with the villains, I'm gonna go for Juju. Uh, the reason why I'm going for Juju is because I don't have Enigma because Enigma is obviously weak against this boss. So Juju uh, will be able to give one of my high attack units uh, attack up buff. Uh, so I haven't actually skilled up my Juju as you see he's like a, a very low level uh, villain right now. Uh, but once he's been leveled up he also has a crit up buff that he also gives to units so he is uh, in my opinion, a very good villain for invasion. Um, well, let us let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. I said be aiming for 30k. Now, what I like to do first um, before we start is to switch off that times two, just so you can have better control with your skills. Um, let's just start it off like this, and then see how that goes. So yeah, we just turn off that uh, times two speed just so we can have more control um, with the skills that we want to use. Oof, he didn't get the freeze on. If he had gotten the freeze on, it would have been epic. Yeah, so he's busy focusing on my kill finger. Let me try and get one of these buffs up real quick. Okay. Oof, see, my villain is just way too weak right now. Oh man. This is not good. I'm definitely not getting it. I don't think I'm gonna make 30,000. But we'll, we'll try it out. There we go. We made 30,000. Um, the reason why I put in the guilt under there was if he had, if he was able to just uh, pop that, um, pop that freeze debuff onto the boss real early, and then um, after that drop. The anchor, the, the, the first S1, which is a uh, what's this thing? Anchor management. Uh, it would have granted, as you can see there, uh, crit up for three turns um, for stealth and chain reaction. And with that, they would have been able to do some really savage damage and probably push up the score into the 40, 40,000, 45,000 range. But unfortunately, um, the freeze. The freeze debuff did not land, so you know we didn't get we didn't get the crit up. And unfortunately, my juju is still a little bit too weak. Um, I'll definitely start grinding it out. I've got pieces and everything. I just uh, need more potions. Um, I've been focusing a lot of my potions onto my Mr. Broccoli. Um, he's a five star, and so he just needs too many potions. Um, but like, yeah. For the next upcoming guild invasions, 
um, especially with the bosses, the different kind of bosses. What I'll do is that I'll get some of these villains, these extra villains, uh, just scaled up and also get them just leveled up so that they can survive, you know, one hit from the boss and then you can actually see the kind of benefit that they bring. Um, with that said, when we're talking about uh, this invasion boss, Dr. Crank, um, like we already know, he's a tech boss, he's a mechanical, right, so he's tech. Um, he is weak against Leaf Skylanders and, uh, and Undead. So, if you really want to do a lot of damage, bring Leaf, bring Undead, um, and he'll do great. Uh, he's strong against fire or magic, so you can't bring things like Enigma, your Kabooms. I mean, you can, but you know, it'll be doing reduced damage, elemental disadvantage, and everything. The debuffs that he does drop is Poison, Heal Block, Attack Break, and he also does big damage to your Endurance Bar. Uh, the units that I would suggest for this boss, um, potential units that you could use, is your Stealth Elf, your Super Shot Stealth Elf, Ambush could be pretty good, and Stink Bomb could be good. That's with the, the, the Life Skylanders. Uh, for your Undead options, I'd say Pit Boss, Roller Ball, Roller Brawl, I mean, uh, Crypt King, and Cinder would be good. Uh, the reason why I say Cinder is because um, Crankcase. Dr. Crankcase has a charge up ability, um, which you saw during the battle. It's about a, a five second, five second charge up. So having units like Cinder, who have elemental advantage and also do do disrupt, um, you know, will also help you along in the invasion. Because once you basically start doing the cast abilities, you just hit the disrupt skill, and then you have a chance of actually stopping that cast from going on. And then the boss will have to work, wait until his next turn. Be able to cast that move again. Um, my Guild Grunt actually does have that uh, disruptability. Um, I just never used it during the time of doing the casting and everything, but I was just trying to um, get that freeze crit up buff from that situation. Um, but yeah, that is today's invasion uh, with Dr. Crank uh, 38k. Um, uh, I definitely did not score enough. I did not score enough points to be top of my guild damage rankings. I know that later I'm probably gonna get knocked down to maybe like third place or something like that. Um, but yeah, let's just let's just see let's just see where it puts us. I mean, we're okay. Like right now, we're rank five, which is good. So as you can see, um, yeah. Once everybody else starts to attack after they 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 they, they read the strategies and everything for invasion, then you know I should be knocked down to maybe like the fifth place or sixth place in the damage rank. But yeah, thank you for checking out this video. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, throw your comments. I'd like to hear from you guys your tips and your strategies for this boss. How you guys went about it. And units that you guys are using um, you know yeah like comment subscribe check out my twitch 